All right, here we go with the trials and tribulations of a vintage outboard motor mechanic. Here's T. Mike working on a 1957 7.5 horsepower brought to him by customers said he had rebuilt the carb and couldn't get it going. So I'm doing the compression check on it and it's good. 70 on one side, 70 on the other. So compression is good. Now I'm going to check for spark which the customer said he rebuilt the magneto with my kit and the spark is good so let's try to get her started now put everything back together pump the bulb sure enough starts but i noticed something there's a plug missing on the carburetor so I take it in my shop, and the screws are loose, and the plug is missing. So I take a plug out of my spares, tap her in where she goes, tighten all the screws, take her outside. Put her back on the motor. Try to get her started, it won't start. Bring the car back inside, there's no float, no gasket. So I put the float, the gasket in, bring her back outside, and now she starts, but won't stay running. Hmm, what could that be? Starts, but won't stay running, and it won't start. Well, the packing washers on the high and low speed weren't installed and everything was maladjusted so i pull out the high and low speed needles put new packing washers in there and try to get her started kind of starts but really hey, does i've been working on this motor for over a week now car problems i found several i finally uh got it running but it won't stay running like a bad fuel pump but it doesn't have a fuel pump on it it's a two line system so what I did, I took that carb and I put it on my spare 7.5. That's the carb that was on there. It runs great. I took this carb and put it on this motor and it does the same thing. So it's not the carburetor. The carburetor is good. Well, what I did, I reached down and I kept pumping the primer bulb on it and it kept running so I got it started up pulled the air line out and put my finger right here and no air pulses are coming out of the carbon manifold so I'm gonna take the carburetor off the trouble is inside this carbon manifold it came to me with no fuel line on it I'm assuming mud daubers or dirt got in here and blocked the air passageways so I'm gonna take that apart now and see if the trouble if I can find the trouble inside there. Here we go. So I got her all apart and I took a pick and I ran it through all the passageways and vents. Didn't really find anything major, but I did see some dirt and grime. It was probably choking the uh, air coming out of the vent. So we'll see if that works. That's it. I've been running there for about 10 minutes and uh, she runs great. So uh, I didn't really find any visible sign of clogging, but I cleaned all the, the vents and all the passageways and the carburetor manifold here. And that fixed her. She runs like a champ. <laughs> oh man, I'll tell you the pains and the tribulations that a vintage outboard motor mechanic goes through. But when they get them to run, it's all good. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. You video. I enjoyed making it. And once again, I'm out here fishing. <laughs> and I caught me a good one. That's a four and a half pound largemouth bass. Man, between working on my motors, making videos, talking to all my friends out there in the vintage outboard motor world and fishing, I'm living the good life. And I just want to live it till I die. Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> See y'all next video.